Hello, it's Sydney here with what I think is going to be another one of my short stories on grief. It's been a while, but I'm sure they come out at just the perfect time. I'm out today on a walk in nature with Zach's puppy Kodiak and we're about three miles into our walk in nature and I found that nature has been a very impactful part of my grief journey. Getting out and helping me release the grief goo and also providing a space of inspiration for the things that come to my heart that I want to share. So today is Sunday. It's glory day. It's also Easter Sunday and I was contemplating on my walk about my page Sydney and thinking that this might be a great day to really start to reactivate that page which has been mostly dormant since Zach passed and being in that survival mode of grief in the first year to find it within myself to do those daily postings, share quotes, do my daily gratitude was very, very challenging and it stayed a private part of me as I'm now moved through the phase of coming alive again and into beginning to thrive again. I think today is the perfect day to start posting my daily intentions and sharing them with everyone. But also taking a moment in this short story on grief to just share the possibilities that are available in the grief world and on the grief journey. So some may say, well, you know, it's easier for you or you're stronger than me or possibly even my relationship with my child wasn't as tight or close as you think yours might be with your child. And what I'd like to say about that is F that shizzle and just complete that thought right there because that is the farthest thing from the truth. I believe that any of us that have been placed in this hellacious, horrendous journey, this experience of our child passing, if we're in it, we have the possibility to survive and move forward and even come to a point of thriving again in life. I understand, I've been there, I've walked the journey, and that's why I can share. I've earned the right to come from my heart and share with you and not from a place of force or making anyone wrong, but from a place of meeting you where you are and helping you along this journey because there is possibility. And if you look back for, along my posts and read my shares and even look at my face and my videos, you can see what I was experiencing, the energy that I was engulfed in, that grief goo and I managed to break through, break free, release, and stand up again on a new shore in life. Albeit, it's a shore in the grief world. I wake up every single morning thinking about my child. I think about him all day long, and I go to bed every night thinking about him. But I'm also alive again in my life, and Zach is with me every step of the way. And together, we're creating joy and possibility. So from my heart to yours, an invitation to keep the faith. Be, breathe, and believe. Be aware of the phases. Understand that declaration and choice at a point in time that is right for you is a possibility. And you too can thrive once again. From my heart to yours.